The micro, small and medium enterprises, big as they are in terms of number, since they are about 99.6% of the total business establishments here in the country, are very vulnerable when it comes to climate change. Any shortage or scarcity of raw materials because of climate change can easily affect our micro, small and medium enterprises. So we're really talking of a stoppage in production and of course no revenue or no income for them. Before, if you are using conventional farming, in one hectare rice planting, you will spend at least 50,000. But with project, we were able to cut our production cost. The greening the tourism value chain, and that was very useful because I realized that I was already doing something in that direction. That was a way of supplementing my knowledge, and it also gave me an avenue to be able to share what I already was doing. I asked the help of ProGD to really find out where are we that time in the process of the green initiative. Other farmers would say, oh, we were not able to sell because, you know, organic is a niche market. But DDI helped us first, of course, with the trade fairs. They introduced our group to the market. They help us with our organic fertilizer production. At least 40% of the energy cost ay natipid po namin. Dumami yung customers talaga dito. Na amazed sila with the greening project. I submitted an application for the ASEAN Green Resort Award and luckily we were able to bag that uh, prestigious award. And then we shared what we uh, learned from the process. I see our role as uh, one to inspire them. It is not only by receiving the award, but it's also in one way of cost savings in the measures that we will be implementing. No? It's a matter of doing things right in the first place. DTI had been so very supportive with this property. We are being guided where the Go Greening program is being emphasized. All of the employees here are really getting involved into this Go Greening program. There's a huge perception issue when it comes to upcycled materials. People always think that there's no value to it. It's hard to make trash look beautiful and desirable. You really have to think about how you can improve that form factor, improve the quality. We are definitely not the cheapest products out there in the market, but I think by emphasizing this, we are able to play to our strengths to come up with better positioning and better acceptance. With that, you improve your bottom line and everyone's happy. It's not really that difficult to go green. In fact, it's the most sensible thing to do. It's economical, it promotes your resort, and it also helps promote your destination. We can really see if we have to have a development adopting the triple bottom line approach, considering importantly the environment. And the whole province of Bohol can see us, that we are practicing green. So maybe the rest of the tourism destination who practice tourism, who have business in tourism, they can also mirror on how we're, do we're doing here. We will make sure that uh, our MSMEs really clearly understand the importance of greening their operations and going green because it is one, if not the only way, for them to really be more competitive. And all our training programs as we also carry with it the greening advocacy so that Everybody will talk green. That alone, I guess, would already say that the department believes and will always advocate greening.